Lesson 24. Our new letter for this lesson is called Rho, and to make a long story short, it sounds like the letter R. For those of you who are new to Greek, this letter may be a little confusing because it looks like the letter P, especially in its uppercase form, but also in its lowercase form too. And Catherine, we need to talk a bit about the pronunciation of this letter. It's not exactly an R. The closest letter in English is R, but it's not really English R. It's more like a rolled R. Now, of course, you won't hear everyone pronounce this letter like a rolled R. Some people will just pronounce it like a regular R. That's fine, too. So it's not crucial that you roll this letter, but that's what people generally advise is to to pronounce the letter rho like a rolled R. Not a heavy roll, but more of a light roll like you might hear in Spanish. Before we go, Bill, there is one interesting thing that we should discuss, and that's that Rho gets a breathing mark when it's at the beginning of a word, and it's always a rough breathing. Right. So that's kind of an exception to what we were telling them before. Before we said that vowels can have breathing marks, but now we're saying that there's actually one consonant that always gets a breathing mark when it's at the beginning of a word, and that's the letter rho. So don't let that confuse you. Moving along, let's see if we can observe the letter rho in action. As you can see, I don't have any reading exercises here because I wanted to present the letter rho to you as a letter that has a rolled R sound, like r. And so to stay consistent with that, there aren't any English words that have that sound. So we don't have any reading exercises at the end of the lesson, but we do have one real ancient Greek word to practice with. And that word, as you can see here, is pronounced ropes. It starts with the letter rho, with a rough breathing as it's required to have. And then we have the letter omega, and then the letter psi, which is like a P and an S. Also, over the letter omega, there's a little marking called an accent mark, or just an accent. We'll talk about that later, so just ignore it for now. But if you put it all together, this word, uh, along with the rolled R sound of the letter rho, it might sound like ropes. So it's not exactly like the English word ropes, because you rolled the R. That's right, Catherine. So you don't have to roll it in a really heavy way. You don't have to say ropes. You can just <laughs> lightly roll the, uh, the letter row like this, ropes. Yes. In fact, particularly with the longer Greek words, doing a long rolled R would make it rather difficult to pronounce. 